how many orders I'm going to be able to do. Uh, I don't even know how far that is from here. 17 kilometers, $7. Go ahead and shut me off and I'll come back. Let's check out. Thank you. Before we do that, let's check out if there's any promotions tonight. Now, in this location, of course not. Of course not. No promos, but we're still going to go back online. So is it possible to score another dash like I did last night during the rush hour supper time with DoorDash? Well, guys, we're about to find out tonight. I am heading over to the Brass Howard area. I scheduled myself. They only have a half an hour time slot, but it looks like things are opening up tonight. So I want you to tag along with me on this dash and let's see how things perform tonight. Is it gonna be Uber Eats? Is it gonna be DoorDash? Well, right now I'm starting with DoorDash. All right, guys, I am officially happy that I document this stuff because this is unreal. So first of all, my timestamp right now is 538. And even though I took a hit on my acceptance, acceptance with DoorDash, they just sent me a Walmart offer. And if you guys can see this on your screen right now, what is very unique about this is the amount of items, the drop-off locations. It shows that it is DoorDash Pay. I would have to use the red card, but the amount of items. Am I insane right now? Am I seeing things? Did I see 98 items? I was driving when it came in. I tried to park the car. That's what I believe I saw. But I was like, there is no way. I mean, the dollars was great, but I'm not about to go parking into a Walmart. Again, there is many restrictions going on down here due to this pandemic. And this is insane. I can't believe that came in right now. As you can see, I... Uh, Roxbury. Okay, delivered to Roxbury Brassard. Three items, 10 kilometers. Includes DoorDash. Park de la Cité. I love the location. It's very much upper class. But again, I'm going to take another hit. Because I'm going to say the distance is too far. Now, I am currently in the whole uh, busy hot zone. I am taking a little bit of decline here on my DoorDash. Wow, I can't believe that. So the last one, is the kilometers is too far for the payout. And that includes tip. It doesn't even show that it might be higher. It is okay to decline your, your acceptance level with DoorDash. Yes, the more that you accept, the more offers that you get. But do you really want to lose out on money? I don't think so. So it is currently a 540. I'm waiting it out. I am... It's funny how it says near a Walmart grocery store. That's really funny. That's just insane. Has anybody seen that before? If you have, comment below. I've never had that before, guys. Um, as well, we're dashing at nighttime currently right now. So if the quality of the video is not as cute, I apologize. The ISO settings is on an automatic exposure to make this as nice as I can. So with that being said, got here safely. I'm going to sit here in this parking lot and if nothing comes up or nothing worth grabbing, I will switch over to Uber Eats and I will catch you guys in a bit. I'm still in shock about that order. Damn. All right. So timestamp 542. I got a going to Baton Rouge. I know exactly where that is. 1325, 14 kilometers because I don't want to hit too much. Oof. You know what? Can I just pretend I don't see this? I'm just going to pretend that I don't see this, guys. Ah, oh, if they could get a couple more dollars. You took too long to accept the order. Okay, let's pretend that I just didn't see it, DoorDash. Oh, I'm getting hit a little bit here today, guys, with DoorDash. I don't think they're going to like me. Yes. You've missed an opportunity, which will now be offered to the next dasher. All right, fine by me. Go away. I don't need that notification no more. Mm, I was really tempted to accept it because it's only a kilometer difference towards the payout. But again, I still like to look 1.6. Just shy under $2 is my minimum. What I was going to be doing is just backing up the car a little bit here from this entrance. And then that came in. So uh, let's keep tuned, guys.
All right, guys, I cannot believe I'm saying this. I am choosing to go on to Uber Eats and see instead. They just gave me another order. I find the orders are just, they're just too low tonight. What is happening? Could I, is, is this what happens with DoorDash on Tuesday nights? They're not as supreme as what they are on a Monday night? Keep in mind, I know that I got lucky with the $23 order. I know I got lucky with the $23 order yesterday, but I was expecting more because even yesterday when I took the double pizza for the dollars and kilometers, it made more sense. Tonight, it's the kilometers that is just not making sense. No go. Mr. Puffs, for those that do not know, Mr. Puffs is the most crazy place to go to. You're standing there, you're waiting a line, 14 kilometers, $7 on a double stacked order. I'm definitely gonna say a no-go towards that. It's just not beneficial. 5.46 is my timestamp right now. And let's clear some of this stuff. That's not so pretty with DoorDash. And the amount of text messages they send to me. But the only reason why I don't get any from uh, Uber Eats anymore is I've had some problems when I've signed up for their application when I originally signed up for Uber Eats. And I think their customer service ended up taking me off of their opt-in for text messages. So I don't get any. And the only way... Starbucks! That will take me right out of this location. decline <sighs> that will take me right out of this location yeah so the only way that i can opt in for uber eat text messages is actually actually if i send them a text message and i don't want to do that so i'm going to keep it the way that it is so we are switched over to uber eats timestamp is 547 this dashing at nighttime thing this is um, the exception to when I can dash, so now going forward, I will be working my full-time job the next two days. We have curfew here is at 10 p.m. and I work until 7 p.m. at night. So I'm not too how many. How, nah. Wow, I'm not sure how many orders I'm gonna be able to do. Uh, I don't even know how far that is from here. 17 kilometers, seven dollars. Go ahead and shut me off and I'll come back. Let's check out, thank you. Before we do that, let's check out if there's any promotions tonight. Now, in this location, of course not. Of course not. No promos, but we're still gonna go back online. For some reason, I don't feel as bad when I rejected the Uber Eats compared to DoorDash. If I don't get some nice flowing cash going with Uber Eats in the next little bit, I will go back to DoorDash. But I feel super guilty when I don't accept their uh, their orders because they show you the acceptance amount. And I think that's an, an intentional tactic. So I will get back to you guys when I finally do accept an order. And if not, I'll talk to you about the ones I refuse. 548 timestamp. See you in a bit, guys. All right. So I got a very quick $3 sushi shop order for 1.1 kilometers. So let's take it away. All right, let's let this be a lesson to anybody that is dashing or doing deliveries in a location near a mall. I could not find this sushi shop anywhere. So I got to sign this $3 order. It was terrible. I called the restaurant. They were like, oh, yeah, we're in the mall. I'm like, yeah, where? And she could not explain to me where. This is horrible, guys. Where are we at? 607. We're at 607 right now. I stopped recording it. I'm gonna go to the location that I am a lot more familiar with because this is not my area, but I do shop in this area. I don't, I just, not all the time. Wow. <laughs> oh, that bygones be gone, bygones. Let's go, guys. We gotta pick up these orders. I gotta do better. This is horrible right now and tonight. Timestamp 607. Let's keep going on. <laughs> All right, guys, pray for me for a big tip for this one. I got a double stacked order for this place called Copper Branch. I've never been here. Uh, it's 38 minutes for the two of them. It actually came back to me after I rejected it. So I took it and let's hope. Oh, I need something good here. Help me. 
<sighs> okay, I officially know why people say you don't dash or do deliveries on a Tuesday night. So the delivery is done. I think really the only benefit of doing that delivery is that it was two minutes away from that regular hot zone that I normally am in. Honestly, I just don't have the energy. Not for three dollars for three kilometers. Wow. An eight dollar order, it was double stacked. It was a wrap around. Got me back to where I needed to go. Are they gonna tip? I don't know. Uh, the last order, it was the whole pin and I forgot to ask her for the pin so I had to go back, which is disturbing her in the middle of her food. Uh, but if you don't use the pin, you don't get your money. So I'm really praying on tips. But then again, last night I did get that $3, same location as what this one just was, Mount Taco. It was $3, but they tipped me $6. So who knows? <sighs> that would take me right out where I am. I'm just going to say no. I think I should really just... Oh, thank you. You paused me. Thank you. I think I should call it a night, people. Tuesday nights are not my nights. I will timestamp this in the next couple of seconds with the... Not timestamp. Sorry. I will stamp how much I've made for tonight for that order with the tips on that double stacked order. I'm going to click online because I am crazy like that. But yeah, I will timestamp this right at the end just like I did in my uh, first or second video. I don't remember which one. And then you will see exactly what my payouts were. Till then, guys, the only thing I have to say is don't do deliveries on Tuesday nights. They're not beneficial. Monday, I guess, is lucky. But definitely not Tuesday. I can't even talk. See you in the next video, guys.